The issue of community is, is a crucial one, and it comes in many dimensions. And one of the uh, defining characteristics of what's been happening with cities over the past several decades is great sense of bifurcation. Certainly enormous bifurcation between the developed, prosperous, and relatively secure core and vast slums where governance is delivered by non-state actors, whether they are slum lords or paramilitary groups or organized crime groups, or in some cases insurgencies. But there are other divisions, other bifurcations occurring that are posing new challenges. You already uh, highlighted some of them. One is cities versus the rest of the countryside. Uh, and in fact, divisions among cities. Increasingly in many parts of the world, uh, we see cities within a country heading in very different dimensions, directions, um, economically, um, politically, and in fact, even with respect to foreign policies, although they are not necessarily the capitals. Nigeria, Lagos policies versus Abuja, for example, come to mind. So there is another bifurcation taking place. So it's the divisions within the city, the lack of sense of a community within a city, division between the city and the rest of the country, or even cities' relationship to other cities. And then the new dimension uh, with that is uh, refugee flows and migrants that we are seeing who are often mistreated, marginalized, wrongly accused, made scapegoats, and deeply unintegrated. And so all these different uh, bifurcations taking place simultaneously, sometimes cross-cuttings, often uh, independent of each other, then bring really to the core the issue of who governs and who governs for whom. And here is where, where, where crime comes in. Uh, 